Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you've seen from the title and the thumbnail, I'm going to be recreating some pork belly buns from a restaurant down here in River Street, Savannah, Georgia, the historical Savannah, Georgia. Now, I really love these pork belly buns, but my brother loves them. And he was the one who has been pushing me to make this for y'all. So this one's for you, bro. Luis, got your name in there. <laughs> So to begin, what we're gonna do is, so he actually got the recipe from a server at the restaurant. He didn't give me the exact measurements for everything, but he got all of the ingredients that go into their marinade for the pork belly. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with half a cup of soy sauce. Next, I am going to do another half cup of the rice vinegar. And you can find all of these ingredients in your nearby Korean grocery store, or you might even find some of them at Walmart too. So half a cup of the rice vinegar into that. And since I'm going to be eyeballing everything and the Lord is going to tell me when to stop adding these ingredients, I'm just going to start off small. I'm gonna add some fish sauce and I'm gonna just do one tablespoon. I'm also gonna do one tablespoon of the pure sesame oil. These are very strong, so I'm just gonna do a little bit first. And then I'm gonna do another tablespoon of mirin. Might do a little bit more than one tablespoon. About a tablespoon and a half. Next, I'm going to add some garlic. This is about five cloves of garlic. And we just shredded that a little bit. And now I'm gonna add half a cup of brown sugar. So I'm gonna mix that up. And last but not least, I'm gonna add some Korean chili powder. This is just one teaspoon. I think I'm gonna do about two teaspoons of the Korean chili powder. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, I think I can use one more. And that is it for our marinade. And this should be enough for this pork belly. And I'll give you guys the exact ounces in the description box above. And here's what we're looking like. So for the top of my pork belly, since I'm not going to marinate it, I'm actually going to stick this in the refrigerator once I put it in here, and it's going to stay in the refrigerator overnight. And what we want to do is we want to make sure we dry out that top skin. And then I'm just going to make some cuts diagonally, diagonally on top like this. And this not only is good for presentation purposes, but I'm gonna be adding some salt and I'm gonna make sure it gets all up in there. And now I'm gonna do the same thing this way. So now I'm just gonna add some pink Himalayan salt on top of my skin. So I want, like I said, I want the skin to be super crispy, but with still with a lot of flavor. And I'm not gonna season the entire pork belly just because the top is the only part that's not gonna have any seasoning, but that marinade should be enough for the entire pork belly. And then just like that. So now I'm just gonna move my pork belly into this dish. And I'm gonna add my marinade to the bottom. Just like that. And it is just the perfect amount because it's not overlapping and not getting on top of our skin. I'm gonna refrigerate this overnight and then I'll see you guys in just a second because we're gonna start with our cucumber kimchi next.
next morning. All right, you guys, so it is officially the next day. I'm gonna be making my pork belly in this cast iron skillet. As you see me doing here, I'm just gonna use half an onion and I'm gonna cut them into one inch slices. I just did this so that the pork belly can sit on top and it doesn't allow the pork belly to stick to the pan, but you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Next, with a napkin, I'm just gonna take off any of the excess moisture that may have developed on top of the um, fat while it was in the refrigerator. Then I'm just gonna transfer my pork belly into my cast iron skillet, and I'm gonna go ahead and add the soy sauce marinade to that as well. I also added half a quart of chicken broth just to even out this mixture since that soy sauce uh, marinade has so much salt in it. I did use chicken broth that had no added salt in that as well. I'm gonna go ahead and place this on the stove top because we want to get our marinade to a boil before we add this to the oven. And this will cook in the oven at 350 degrees for two and a half hours. So I will see you guys then. Now while that is cooking in the oven, let's move on to our sauces. I was late. All right, you guys, we are back. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Here is our pork belly. Hear that? Nice and crispy. And it looks like the one from the restaurant, so I'm excited for this. Ooh, that looks so amazing. Mm. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> it looks amazing. There you go. That delicious, Crunch. moist. Yes, yeah, crunchy. It's so tender. Ooh, I'm excited. All right, and now for the bread that I decided to use, I went with the frozen lotus buns. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this, I don't really like how it turned out just because these are extremely small and they're very delicate. So I can't really pack this with a lot of all of our toppings, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna cut a small slice of this. So we can go ahead and build our first pork belly. Actually, let me try this real quick. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. Oh my god. Can the cameraman really get some? Mm hmm. These bitches gonna bust. <laughs> you can't cut. So. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to one of my pork belly. Guess you can, I guess it's kind of like a taco. Now we have our kimchi, our cucumber kimchi here. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that here in the corner. I have our spicy aioli. 
I'm gonna drizzle that on top as well. And this is our ginger soy sauce that we made. And then I'm just gonna top this off with some cilantro. And here you have our pork belly bun. Taste test. Let's do it. Oh my God, I'm gonna make such a big mess. Mmm, yummy. This is so far. Mmm. <laughs> I don't wanna like exaggerate, but oh my god, this is so good. Like on camera. <laughs> you wanna bite, honey? And this yeah. is so good. Do I record it? Mm-hmm. I can't. You can't record me like this, no. <laughs> no. I only got your don't head. Don't get me on camera. Here you go. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Isn't it so mm -hmm. good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you take me out of my place? Yes, and here we have it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this take on our pork belly. I gotta say, it tastes just like the restaurant or better. But anyways, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.